you saying poke? Cause I'm like, they not catching me like. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Andre Dior. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and join Andre Army cause we popping over here. We like to laugh and get your life. You're definitely in the right place, okay? So today, I will be telling a story time about the time I almost got robbed and it wasn't funny at all. If you wanna hear the story, keep watching. So this story time dates back to summertime. And I was doing a summer job and I had a few friends and me and my best friend at the time. His name is Devon. I remember we had just got paid and we were like, let's ball out because when I said this job, like when I said the checks were cute, like they were fab, like them checks was, we had some commas behind them goddamn checks, okay, for it to be a summer job. I was like, I want something to eat and he like, yeah, let's get food. Normally we would hit up Soho, you know, do it big. I mean like do it big, like out to eat, BBQs, Red Lobster, Ruby Tuesdays, all like that. Like, you kind of popping if you could just like go to a restaurant just to, you know, eat lunch or eat, like grab a bite basically. The job was in Brooklyn and normally we would go shopping, go get food and everything in the city. So I'm like, you know, maybe it would make more sense to just get food in, the, in Brooklyn first and then go to the city rather than going to the city just to come all the way back. And I was like, all right, bro, yeah, I heard you. No doubt. So I'm like, what you want to eat? So he's like, I want something new. Or some place that I guess he'd been to before. Cool. It was like some Japanese place. I'm like, all right, I guess. We're on our way to this place, right? And I'm like, are you sure? Is it a good neighborhood? Blah, blah, blah. So he's like basically avoiding me. Like, Vaughn, when something's up, he like ignores you or changes the subject or he's on his phone or he just talking about dumb shit so I'm like all right whatever so uh, we finally get to like I guess the neighborhood or the hood or whatever mind you you know the hood princess right here ain't from no hood and don't live in the hood and never lived in the hood it's in the hood basically he took me to the hood I was shook I was like what if we get robbed I was like I am not about to get robbed like so he's like, nah, just take everything off. Just conceal jewelry. Just be very aware. Take out your headphones. Mind you, Vaughn been schooling me the entire summer about how to be aware, look behind you. Because he grew up in the hood and he understands the hood life, which is cool. We're not judging him. So I'm like, all right, whatever. You've been there, done that. Let me listen to you. And he used to be in a gang. <laughs> I can't say we're gang for purposes of the video. Whatever, Vaughn, if you're watching this, I know you are. But anyway, so we're finally like in the neighborhood and I remember going to this place. We had to pass like a projects complex. Like if you're from New York, you know what the P's is. The P's, the projects, it's mad apartment buildings in one just section. Like you're just surrounded. There are houses where people live. Nothing wrong with the projects. I'm just saying that it's so much that it's like get out the movie it's no way out like it's, it's one way in or one way past you get what i'm saying or you have to pass by one so i'm like like is he serious like did he really bring me over here mind you so we get to the place so blah, blah, we about to get the food so why not me and vaughn walking mind you it's a friday right we just get paid this job is paying us like cash cow like you thought we were scamming like Literally, that job was popping. Period. You know, all designer, like all Gucci, Balenci, Jiv whatever you could think of. We were in it that day, baby. We're um, about to order our food, so we walk in. It's pretty empty. It's like two old couples, and then we see like a group of like gang niggas, like hood dudes. So I'm like, oh shit. But I'm like, I'm not paying them no mind. Like me, if I'm shook, I'm gonna be on my phone. Like I'm not even gonna pay my surroundings. Like. I'm going to see my surround, I'm going to pay it, and I'm going to just be on my phone like fuck. <laughs> so, Juan's ordering his food, and I'm about to order. He's like, oh, what you want? Pick up what you want. He about to get me food or whatever, regular. All I hear is Juan go, and I'm like, what happened? He like, we got to go. We got to go. We got to get this food. But he was like, we got to leave now, but I'm going to order this food. I'm like, all right, please tell me what's going on. Because, like, I'm, I'm not shook, but I'm like, why is he cursing? Like, I guess something's wrong. So... 
Ron orders his food. I'm in panic and he was like, yo, you heard what the niggas just said? And I'm like, no, what did they say? He was like, yo, they plotting. I know some of them niggas. I used to like, he wasn't friends with them, but he knew them through mutual circles, the hood life, the gangbang life. He don't do that no more. He an athlete. When he said that, my heart was just like, are you serious? So he's like, if we don't leave now, we're going to get robbed. Period. And he was like, you, your little sweet ass, you're going to get robbed. And I'm just like, so at this point, <laughs> I'm looking at me on the other side. They over here by the door. We in like the other side of the restaurant. Mine, mind you, they give you like this number thing, like Shake Shack, that vibrates and blinks when your food is ready. Our food is not ready yet. So I'm going off like, oh, bro, you about to leave me? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm done with you. I don't want nothing to do with you. He like, nah, shut the fuck up, stupid. We just got to get out of here. So I'm like, oh, okay. Y'all know me, I'm over dramatic. Texting my good friend who also did the summer job with us. I'ma call her Cash Dog. Cause she was like the hottest girl scammer out in New York doing it, doing her thing. Like whatever you needed, food, clothes, bundles, hair, you could get it from her. And you don't have to pay for shit. You get what I'm saying? Like they was living like Diddy and Beyonce and them. I'm hitting up, I'm Cash Dog. I'm like, yo. Can you give me an Uber? I'm mad scared. We about to get robbed. Devon is really over here playing with me. And mind you, I have money by the time. I'm like, I just got paid. I don't want to spend my money on no goddamn Uber to get all the way home. The place that we were at was nowhere near to my house. Period. You get what I'm saying? Going shopping, going to other places. Say we had one somewhere else. Cool, but it took her home. And I'm like, I'm about to use my opportunities and my connects to get home. Period. Am I wrong, guys? I don't think I'm wrong. Comment down if y'all think I'm wrong for that. All I know is that we hurry up and exit, like, the place. So, Vaughn, mind you, this place has multiple exits. Vaughn goes to the right, I go to the left. Mind you, I walk back in front of the nigga. So, we get outside, so Vaughn goes, like, punch. When I say punches the mess out of my arm. So, I'm like, oh my god, why the fuck did you punch me? He like, you fucking idiot. Why would you walk back next to the niggas? Like, now they really think something like, oh, we like, yeah, what up, or trying to be tough. And I'm like, nigga, I'm not pussy. I'm not scared, but I'm nervous. It's like six of them and two of us, period. I'm like, I don't want to leave, and then I get followed home. And he's saying the same thing, too. So we go to the store nearest to the street. So the store closest to the street is an ice cream shop. I think it was Pinkberry or Baskin Robbins. It was something. So we're sitting there. I'm calling to um, Cash Doll. I'm like, yo. Wait. So she's like, no problem, babes. I'll send you an Uber. You're good. Like, stop worrying. Go on down. I'm like, all right, whatever, girl. She can send me an Uber. So I'm on the phone with her. I'm texting her. I'm like, yo, where's Uber? So she sends me, you know how when someone gets your Uber and they send you like the Uber, the map or the progress. So it keeps saying five minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. I'm like, yo. If the Uber don't come, we're gonna get mugged, robbed, and jumped, and it's done for. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> so Vaughn is like, nah, I got you. He like, nah, I'm getting tight. We need to leave. Fuck out of here. Poor niggas come out of here. So basically, them niggas come out the store. They're in the parking lot. Guess where their car is? In the, it's like a lot. Their car is right in front of the ice cream shop. So I'm standing up. I'm going off on Vaughn. I'm like, fuck out of here. I hate you. I don't want nothing to do with you. We really about to leave me. About to let me get jumped. He like, sit down. Sit the fuck down. And I'm like, oh, why am I sitting down? Don't cut me off. And then one of the boys walks to the door with a snap bag. <laughs> and an ice cream plate. He going off like, I'm not pussy. I don't care who these niggas think they are. And then finally, the boy like, he acts like he's ordering ice cream, but he's not. He's just in here to listen to what we're talking about. And finally, I realized, I was like, oh shit. Mom was like, yeah, you idiot. Like, that's one of the boys that was in the group. I'm like, nah. I'm going to have to put you in my back and run home. I'm like, boy, stop playing with me. Uber finally comes. I get in my Uber. I'm on the phone with Vaughn and Cash Doll. Cash Doll finally got me in the Uber. I run to the Uber. It comes. I'm just like, shh, 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 shh. I'm Usain Bolt. Because I'm like, they not catching me. Like, especially in all drippy. Period. In the summertime. And niggas got checks on them. In mad cash. In a bag. No. So Vaughn's walking home. I'm on the phone with him. I'm like, Call me, you get home. Please get home safe. So he had to take a back exit, basically. Not that he was scared, but I just, I was scared for his safety. Six niggas, a car, gang niggas in the middle of the hood. So I want to phone cash. I'm like, thanks, babe. I'm on my way home. I got home and no joke, 10 minutes. Like, no joke. But it would have been too far to walk. I'm on the phone with Vaughn. I'm like, give me a quick Uber. He like, nah, I'm good. Everything's good. Everything's nice. I'm like, I'm and from that day, you won't catch me in the hood unless I'm near with my niggas that I know. I'm not going to nobody else's hood. Nobody else pees. I'm not. Ask about me. I live in the suburbs. 
So picture a suburbs house of diddy uppity boy in the ghetto, aka the hood. Nothing's wrong with it, but I was so scared and I didn't get robbed. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And tell me if you enjoyed the story time. Comment down what you want to see in future videos. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to be a part of my giveaway for 400 subscribers you can win your own Fenty Beauty brand new foundation and kilowatt highlighter love you guys for watching bye